So our video for today will be about an interesting matchup between two powerhouses, Red Hulk versus Doomsday. But before getting started with our matchup for today, I would like to remind you that I've already uploaded full analysis videos about Hulk vs Doomsday. These videos are divided into three main titles regarding their strength, speed and healing. I'll leave annotations in the end of this video. Now let's get started. Originally known as the Ultimate, Doomsday was born in a prehistoric time on Krypton long before the Kryptonian race gained dominance over the planet about 250,000 years ago. It was a violent hellish world where only the absolute strongest of creatures could survive. In a cruel experiment involving evolution intended to create the perfect living being, the alien scientist Bertron released a humanoid infant onto the surface of the planet where he was killed by the harsh environment. The baby's remains were collected and used to clone a stronger version. This process was repeated over and over for decades as a form of accelerated natural evolution. The agony of these repeated deaths was recorded in his genes, driving the creature to hate all life. The child eventually became able to survive the high temperature only to be quickly slain by the vicious predators which inhabited the planet. Over time, and without the assistance of Bertrand's technology, the creature gained the ability to thrive on solar energy without the need for food or air, to return to life and adapt in order to overcome whatever had previously killed him. The ultimate creature hunted and killed the predators on Krypton, he then killed Bertrand himself, whom he had come to identify as an enemy. The creature now known as Doomsday possesses vast superhuman strength, super speed, super durability, healing factor, invulnerability and death immunity. In the popular Death of Superman storyline, Doomsday managed to kill Superman after a fierce battle in which both were totally consumed. Superman, however, also managed to put the monster down in the battle which has been widely regarded as one of the greatest in Superman's history. After he was killed by Superman, Doomsday evolved and adapted to whatever killed him the first time and returned stronger than before in Superman Doomsday Hunter Prey story. He took down the formidable dark side after taking his Omega Beams unharmed. Doomsday was shown powerful enough to break Superman's arm with little effort, although Superman was armed with the Mother Box. He is powerful enough to overpower and defeat the entire Justice League at the same time. He ripped Plastic Man apart and defeated the powerful Wonder Woman as if she was nothing but a pushover. In addition to his super strength, Doomsday also possesses super durability, enabling him to tank the combined blasts of the Justice League, including Superman's heat vision. In the Hunter Prey story, both Superman and Doomsday survived a force equal to a million nuclear blasts unharmed. Doomsday possesses super combat speed, which allows him to match the Flash, the fastest being in the DC Universe. He can also match Superman, who can move faster than the light speed. He possesses incredible evolution abilities as well. When he arrived on the planet Kelaton, he ravaged the world for three years. With only the capital city left, the royal family combined their life forces into a single energy being known as the Radiant. The Radiant killed Doomsday with a huge blast of energy, destroying fifth of his planet in the process. But Doomsday evolved and became immune to the Radiant's energy and managed to defeat him in a rematch. In the reign of the Doomsday story, Doomsday battled steel and easily adapted to his steel armor and his ability to fly by growing a similar armor and leaping in a way that steel thought that he was capable of flying. This battle has been uploaded on Comics Fighters channel. Check out the annotation in the end of this video. 
For years, General Thunderbolt Ross hunted the Hulk, believing him to be a threat to the national security. Ross eventually made a deal with the Intelligentsia, which resulted in him being transformed into the Red Hulk. General Ross doesn't possess any superpowers in his human form, but he is an expert military strategist. Red Hulk, however, has been described as absolutely uninhibited and tactically intelligent. He is a thinking, calculating, brutal kind of Hulk. Red Hulk possesses vast superhuman strength, stamina, durability, endurance, and healing. As Hulk's arch enemy, he is easily ranked among the most powerful beings in the Marvel Universe. Upon his debut, Red Hulk managed to present some incredible feats of strength and durability, defeating the Abomination in an unprecedented way and easily overpowering Iron Man, She-Hulk, and A-Bomb. It was like the first time we see a Hulk using machine guns in his battles since the old days of Mr. Fixet and Professor Hulk. Red Hulk then managed to defeat the Hulk in their first match. He broke his arm before putting him in a sleeping hold. He also defeated Thor and knocked him out cold with his own hammer in outer space. He also punched the Watcher himself and attacked and killed the Elder of the Universe known as the Grand Master. He is powerful enough to overpower She-Hulk, Thundra and Valkyrie at the same time and each one of these ladies is a powerhouse in her own. Red Hulk can also augment his power by absorbing various types of energy, such as gamma radiation. In The Incredible Hulk number 600, Red Hulk absorbed the gamma energy out of Hulk's body, turning him into his human alter ego, Bruce Banner. In Hulk number 12, the defenders battled the offenders in a fierce battle set by the Collector and the Grand Master, where Red Hulk managed to absorb the cosmic energy out of Silver Surfer's body, seemingly killing him. Unlike the Hulk, who gets stronger as his rage increases, Red Hulk doesn't get stronger the matter. His body's temperature, however, rises with his anger. Though the heat is intense enough to melt desert sand into glass, it causes him to weaken when it becomes too intense, as his physiology lacks a cooling mechanism to deal with the excess heat. Red Hulk has also been shown to have a weakness to the negative zone energy, which caused him burning pain and drained him when he tried to absorb it. He possesses super durability, allowing him to withstand extremely high temperature and surviving a 36,000 foot drop without sustaining any damage. He also possesses a regenerative healing factor, but it is definitely not as powerful as Hulk's, as it took him time to restore his sight after his eyes were slashed by Wolverine in Hulk number 15. So if Red Hulk fought Doomsday after analyzing his abilities and knowing that he can adapt to whatever kills him, he would choose an area where he could absorb energy to keep augmenting his power. The way he chose to battle Doc Green Hulk at the Yucca Mountain Nuclear Waste Repository. Red Hulk can emit gamma radiation. The rate of emission is dependent on his level of rage. If he emits too much radiation, he can overheat and explode, damaging his enemies. And since Doomsday was defeated by the Radiance Energy Blast the first time they battled, then I think Red Hulk might have a chance defeating Doomsday with an Energy Blast. But this also might result in getting himself exploded in the process. However, and as we all know, Doomsday adapts and evolves, so he would return stronger than ever in a rematch against Red Hulk. And since Red Hulk cannot get stronger the matter like his green counterpart, which is considered as an evolution in itself, because we have seen that the feats the more powerful incarnations of the Hulk can handle are completely on another level than those of the weaker incarnations, so based on this fact, I don't see how Red Hulk can handle Doomsday in a rematch, 
with the same scale of powers which Doomsday would adapt to after his supposed first loss. I think Doomsday would definitely win in a rematch, brutally slaughtering Red Hulk, who can't heal as fast as Hulk does. So that was all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to all my channels. Find links in the description box below. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.